So I'm going to take a couple of minutes of your time to show you how to straighten the horizon of any photograph. This is stopping you having any wonky or out of balance photos really simply. Let's get right onto it. So since not everybody uses Photoshop, I'm going to show you how to straighten your horizon in three different sets of software. So we are going to use uh, Photoshop for our first demonstration and then we'll also look at doing it in Lightroom and then also a free online image editor called Pixlr. So let's begin with Photoshop. We're going to use the same image throughout to keep consistency. Now what we need to get is our ruler tool. Now depending upon how you've got your vertical toolbar set up, sometimes it may be under the eyedropper tool, which seems a bit odd, but sometimes it is there. But for most of the time, you will find it in this submenu at the very, very bottom, just underneath the magnifying glass. So if you click and hold and you'll get the submenu and you're looking. So what we need to do with the ruler tool is basically use it to tell Photoshop what we want to be straight. It's as simple as. So we're going to click one end of the building here and then drag our line across. Now you don't want it to be completely straight because then otherwise your horizon will be straight already. So we're basically clicking it to the opposite end. Now it's as simple as now going up to the top here and pressing straighten layer and then straight away it's done it. So it's rotated the image in the canvas area. Now what that's left us with is voids, areas here that don't have any information. It's completely no background at all. So potentially you could go into areas and start using content aware to fill up. It could be very, very tricky when you've got really detailed areas. Generally, the easiest thing to do is to get the marquee tool. So you get that from the second icon down on our vertical toolbar and then just drag that over the area, making sure that we're not selecting any part of the image that has any of these voids. So we're still selecting as much of the image as possible. Once we've got that, we can then just go to image and crop. And there we go. Straight away, we've straightened our horizon out. We've cropped out all the voids. We can just now go to select and deselect to get rid of that marquee line around the edge. And there we go. We've straightened our horizon. So if it's something you're not being able to do in camera, that's a really easy way of doing it in Photoshop. So let's move on to try and get in Lightroom. So here we are in Lightroom now, we've imported our image, we're into our develop module and now all we need to do is get our crop overlay. So initially our crop overlay shows us the rules of thirds, which is fine, but it's something we don't really need. What we do want to use is the angle tool here. Now as we slide this slider here left and right, we get a more smaller grid with lots of little squares and these are really handy for us to be able to use for reference to actually line up our horizon. Now, as you can see here, I'm basically adjusting my attention, making sure the top of the building here runs smoothly across the line. So you can either use a slider or you can hover your mouse over the numbers at the end here and you can make small, slightly smaller and finite adjustments. But I'm just watching the line at the top of the building just to make sure it's even all the way across and I'm happy with it there. Now, again, Lightroom actually crops into the image to make sure it can actually fit and it doesn't have any of those voids around the uh, around the canvas that Photoshop does. So when you're happy, you just press done and straight away it's sorted. It's as simple as that. Let's try one more time. So this time we are using Pixlr. This is a free online editor. So if you're not a subscribed to any Adobe packages like Lightroom or Photoshop, this is something you can do online completely for free. Obviously being an iPhotography member, this is all built into the iPhotography website, which you can find under the resources panel. All we need to do once we've uploaded our image is go to the crop tool. And again, very, very similar to Lightroom. We just simply need to adjust the line here so we can go left or right. So we're changing it a few degrees and it was around about five degrees or so in Lightroom. So we expect it to be the same in Pixlr. And again, just making sure all those lines are nicely balanced. It's cropped into the image again. It's very, very similar to Lightroom's operation. And once you're happy with it, then simply press save. You can change the name of your image, choose a file type and then download it to your computer. Super simple. So again, I hopefully you've enjoyed that really quick tutorial about straightening horizon, whether you're using Photoshop, Lightroom, or if you want to do it for free online. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, keep looking out for more on iPhotography. Thank you very much for watching.